dorky doodles. Uh, we're making a video today. We're going to teach everyone how to uh, peel a soft boiled egg opposed to a, <laughs> opposed to a hard boiled egg. And uh, it's really the same thing, but uh, you know, stay tuned and we're going to, we're going to learn about it together. Okay. So here we have our egg, you know, just a standard uh, egg. I think it's a PC a Blue Menu brand Omega-3 Extra Large Egg, to be 100% specific. I was a little bit concerned because it had some of that, uh, some of that, uh, if I zoom in real close here, it had some of that, like, pink date label stuff on it. And I was like, I don't like that. That's not for, uh, that's not going to be good when you boil it and it kind of, like, Red dye number three or whatever that gives you cancer, like seeps out into the water and then absorbs into the egg and then, you know, it's not good. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna crack this egg. If you if you, you can uh, see that I've already done a few earlier and I was eating them for breakfast with some hot sauce. This is just some uh, Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, this is not a paid promotion by Frank's Red Hot, but there it is, and some. Uh, Prepared yellow mustard uh, of the yellow brand variety. That's ironic that it's both that it's both yellow mustard and uh, the yellow brand. Anyway, so we're gonna crack this egg open, uh, and I'm gonna do it one-handed because I'm recording this on my phone. So this isn't actually the technique I would recommend. So I'm gonna lay. Lay the egg down, and it's already it's already a big mess. It's already in my hot sauce, it's, so I gotta gotta put a couple cracks in this. <laughs> this is this is not how I envisioned this video going. All right, crack the egg. All right, this is this is a challenge, but we're gonna rise to the challenge. All right, just gonna. All right, we're we're cracking it. All right. Okay, we got a couple cracks in there. It should be fine. Now, the technique that I use that's always the best is uh, two-handed. So, in this one, we're going to just try to figure out a... Oh, we got our nails underneath it, so that's good. All right, we're just... Oops, we're also cracking it onto our plate. We don't want that. important step is to crack it into the bowl. So that when you're putting it on your uh, plate for like presentation purposes and plating purposes, um, there's an eggshells all over. It. You don't want that. You know. You also don't want this at all. This is like my plate from earlier, so you don't want that at all. So we're going to uh, begin to peel the egg with our fingernail. Yeah, just slowly, kind of. Oh, I, I think I, uh, I think I got something going on here. There we go. Uh, check this out. Yeah. Oops. Uh, don't want. Don't make a mess now. Don't want to make a mess. Okay. Yep. Yep. We're slowly getting there. Yeah. So, while I'm uh while I'm doing this, I'd like to take a moment and just tell everyone about life and how life is very simple and there's a lot of happy things that happen in life. There's a lot of sad things that happen in life, but mostly you just have to uh take the good with the bad. And the other day I was having a really good day. And everything was awesome, and I was on a bridge, and it was, like, cool looking. And I saw a squirrel. I got really close to a squirrel, and the squirrel was cool. And I just was having a really good day, and I was enjoying it. And then the next day was really crummy because I had to uh, get a haircut, and I had a bad, my haircut was bad. And then I had to pay for a new cell phone, and I had an insurance thing on it, but the insurance thing was like, oh, but you already you had to pay us 50 bucks anyway, even though you've been paying us 7 bucks a month for like the last 6 months. And you had to pay us 50 bucks, and we had to ship it to your house, and it might take a couple weeks, and blah, blah, and it was only going to be like 120 bucks to get a new phone, and it was like already 50 bucks, and 
you know, a bunch of time I had, I would have to wait to get my new phone. So I just kind of shelled out the extra money to get this phone that I'm using right now. And this is a, this is a LG of some sort. Also, this is not a paid promotion of LG because, uh, you know, I just, I don't do that. I'm not going to, I'm not about the, I'm just, I'm offering value. I'm just letting people know about all the cool things I use, like my mustard, my phone. And uh, we're just going to, we're almost there. We've uh, we've cracked a, a substantial portion of this egg up. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, so uh, it's important. I think I went on a little bit of tangent there, but it's important just to enjoy the highs of life, but also enjoy the lows, you know? It's kind of funny that I had to pay more for my phone. Like, I mean, I don't think it's that funny, but, you know, some people might think it's, you know, like, ha-ha, you had to pay for a phone even though he was paying for stuff. Okay, so here we have our egg. Hold it out into the light again. It's uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, it's covered in shit, though. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that, and then we're gonna eat it. We're just gonna kind of rub it off, just with our thumb. This is, looks this looks odd, and you know, I'm getting a little bit excited. <laughs> And rubbing the egg, just rubbing the shit off the egg. You know, you know that saying. The sometimes you gotta rub some shit off your egg before you eat it. <laughs> All right, and it's mostly good. Now we're gonna get the shit off our hands because we have a bunch of shit on our hands. Now we're just gonna do that in the classic approach of just brushing that against our leg, just like that. You know, long strokes. Just get that. Get all that shit off, yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of shit still on there. That's the technique you want to use. Okay, now we're back here to our egg. Still quite a bit of shit on it. But you know, if we roll it around in this pepper, you hardly even notice. It's not It's not even a big deal. See, look, now there's a bunch of shit on it, but most like, you're like, oh, that's just pepper. You can eat that shit. And we're just going to cut it in half. Say... Betty Crocker brand knife. Again, not a paid promotion by Betty Crocker by any means, but just representing quality cookware or, or not so quality cookware. But, you know, I'm just letting people know in case they want to do this themselves. They just want to pick up an egg, you know, and boil it and pick up a knife and cut it in half. And here you go. As you can see, if you look at the yolk, it is uh, a little bit undercooked. So this is technically a soft-boiled egg, in opposed to a hard-boiled egg. Still perfectly fine to eat, just uh, a little bit of a different texture. And now we're going to go ahead and apply our mustard. Just one one line is good. It's good for the mustard. Whoop. Okay. And uh, then hot sauce, one or two drops. Just uh, yeah. Okay. And this guy, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, there we go. And there you have it. We have a nice um, soft boiled egg ready to eat with hot sauce and mustard. Super healthy, you know, except for all the uh, fat, except there's no fat in the Franks or the mustard. That's actually healthy. And the egg yolk, or sorry, the yolk is actually full of good fats. And the, uh, yeah, the, uh, what do you call it? The egg white, the white part of the egg, yeah, that's full of protein, right? So that's good for you. Yeah, just a closer look on each one of them. Yeah, just real close. Yep. Get real close to this one, too. Oops. There you go. See? So so close that my video starts to get fuzzy and like, whoa, what's going on? Anyway, so there you have it. That's how you peel and prepare a delicious soft-boiled egg.